So we're continuing to look at the big stories and the big issues in crime this week with former Met detective Jackie Hames. And some of the key issues that we've been looking at, of course, have been the inquiry into Scotland Yard's undercover units revealing some serious failures in how information was handled by officers. Now, the report found that grieving families were involved in campaigns for justice were actually being spied on by police. Relatives targeted included those of Jean-Charles de Menezes, who was shot dead by police in 2005. The inquiry follows several allegations about misconduct within the special demonstration squad. Two former Met chiefs came under fire this week for opposing full life terms for police killers. Lord Blair and Lord Condon have criticised government plans to ensure those who murder officers die behind bars, calling it a PR exercise and a contemporary version of hanging. The Home Secretary moved to toughen sent sentencing laws following the murders of PCs Nicola Hughes and Fiona Bone by Dale Cregan. And the Home Secretary told the House of Commons this week that she wants to introduce new secret investigations as part of a review into police transparency. Theresa May launched a package of reviews which aims to change the way the police carry out inquiries to make them more open. The reforms could see sealed investigations introduced, carried out in secret, without the knowledge of the force and suspects. Mrs May also said police disciplinary hearings should be held in public. I mean, some really big issues mm. here, Jackie. Um, let's start with the undercover unit inquiry, should we? Yeah. Uh, I mean, what we've had this week is the third report from the um, inquiry by Nick Creed and the uh, Chief Constable of Derbyshire looking into this special demonstration squad, which most of us in law enforcement didn't even know existed until recently. Um, it was set up in uh, 1968 and disbanded in 2008. And it was part of a s special branch, which is a very secret department within the Metropolitan Police, the MI5, if you like, of policing. Um, it's it come under criticism for several things, but this week we've had the report about their uh, teams that infiltrate violent protesters. They the ones who go around inciting violence amongst peaceful protest. And what's happened is the undercover officers have reported on what they've seen and what they've heard during violent protests, and they've got mixed up in genuine, legitimate protests around things like the, what happened to poor John Charles Menendez, for instance, and, and uh, various other police um, uh, deaths. Now, what's happened is that they've recorded intelligence that they found and submitted into the Met. Now, that should have just been destroyed as being not relevant to what they were supposed to be doing, and it wasn't. It was kept. Uh, Nick Creeden has reported that he doesn't feel there was any malicious intent in that, but that the Met Police failed badly in not monitoring and destroying it. And it, it throws up the issue of whether this team was being monitored properly, whether there was any foresight and transparency in what they were doing, and whether they were being properly supervised. And it clearly they weren't, and they have to make sure that what they were doing then is not going on now. Mm. So there's going to be a lot, need a lot of reassurance on that. Yeah. I would imagine. Uh, I mean, for public people. trust is obviously hugely damaged by this sort of uh, inquiry. What about full life terms? This criticism of, of the idea of full life term for police killers. I mean, Lord Condon and Lord Blair both saying it's, it's not a good idea. Why not? You can imagine it getting public support. Totally, yeah. I mean, this is a real turnaround, isn't it? Two eminent, well-known police officers saying that they don't want it. And, and they're very much going against what the majority of um, the police uh, in service in, this, in the UK want. Um, there has to be a strong message that police officers are slightly set apart. If they're going to put themselves in danger day in, day out, there has to be a deterrent for that. I mean, I've lost several friends of mine who were murdered uh, during the course of my service. And you have to, to be, a, you know, have to be, um, what's the word? You have to, be, have to know that if you're putting yourself on the line, you will be supported and that you are set apart. You're not just um, somebody who happens to be walking down the street caught up in something. You are purposely putting yourself in the middle of danger and that has to be supported by the law. And I think, um, the, the, I think what's happened is that there's an element in, from police officers that Theresa May is using this as slightly a cynical attempt to be seen to be supporting the police at the time. She's been cr so critical of so many aspects of it and I think that's where their comments have come from. 
but clearly it's something that should be enshrined in law. Uh, and just briefly, Jack, on, on that final issue, um, it seems a bit confusing at first reading, doesn't it? The idea of secret investigations to ensure police transparency. Yes. Uh, um, how, how long will it be before we get, um, well, we need transparent secret investigations. I mean, there has to be a point where things are done covertly. Un uh, you know, undercover officers put themselves at huge risk and are invaluable in the fight against crime and public order in this country and that has to be supported but it must be done from a situation where it's there's proper oversight and accountability and that's obviously not what's happened in the past mm. okay Jackie thank you now, I know obviously as always <laughs>